Welcome back, ladies and gents. Here I am in the exact same position I was during the last session because I'm just continuing to record without uh, logging out of the game. I'm still looking for the last two animal kills by using call. I just don't think I'll get close enough to a rabbit to call one. And even if I did, I don't know that Calling the rabbit wouldn't do anything other than alert it. I guess I'm going to go look at this camp now since I appear to be so close. And I'm not constrained by time at the moment. Alright, what have we got here? What? A Springfield rifle to the head and he gets up and runs away? Buddy, you deserve to live after that. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I bet you're not supposed to shoot them with a rifle. That's a small animal. How do I get that? Is it progress? Yeah. Animals. I bet a uh, fox you're supposed to shoot with. That's a coyote. The fox. Repeater or bow with arrows. Okay. I should have shot him with the repeater, which I don't have on me. So apparently. Who are these people? Are those more Driscolls? They look like they're Driscolls based on how they're. what they're wearing. I need to get, find some place where there's, wait a minute. I want to go up to that rise. Although this is not a bad spot because that, from the rise, the wagon is in the way. Let me see if there's adequate cover right here. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. Although I don't yet know there are Driscolls, I'm not just going to shoot. So I need to confirm my target before I shoot. But they look like O'Driscolls. Also, I'm going to eat some food. There we go. Let's come up top. I really don't know what the range... See, the range has some gray area, which means I think it, with use, the range will get... Well, you know, I, I made some modifications. It's increased the range and accuracy. I don't know what the gray area... Maybe I'm thinking familiarity is a thing. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, but the more familiar or, or proficient you are with a weapon, the, the better it, you can use it. The kind of soft increases its stats... I don't know what I'm saying, but it could be something like that. These horses are going to blow my cover, aren't they? What was that? What was that? Oh, I've got enough of those. I still, you know what? There is no adequate cover that's close enough. So I'm just going to have to creep closer behind that big board there and hope they don't see me until I can determine who they are. I think they're O'Driscolls, but I, oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're red now. What are they saying? Looks like they've been ordered to stay out of Valentine and they don't like it. <laughs> he wants to visit the prostitutes. He's talking treason. 
saying the gang is might be too big for just one man to control it all. That would be considered treason, right? In a gang? Or anywhere, really. Combs got a hold on you, boys. I ain't never gonna understand. The clue is in the name, fool. Colm O'Driscoll. We O'Driscoll boys. I see. So they're very loyal to him, except for that one guy right there. Well, let me get this right. All this expostulating. Huh? It's just so you can get your prick teased more regularly. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Why are you dumber than I thought? Like, one man's dumb is another man's free thinker. So I've been told. Yeah, he seems to be like the the lone wolf of the group there. I don't really have any cover, and this is probably not gonna go well. I don't I wanna hit the guy standing up first. Now I can move back to this rock. Now that they're aware of me, they might come towards me. I don't want to accidentally shoot another lantern, though, and burn the camp. No one's going to recognize me now, I hope. I guess I'm finding out the range of these volcanic pistols. I agree. I should be shooting Calm O'Driscoll. Oh, see those those plants seem to be interfering with my shooting. Not that it's good anyway. And I, I realize I could use Dead Eye, but I prefer not to unless I I, I feel I need to. I wonder if that's the same guy. Since he's saying that Calm ain't got nothing to do with this gunfight, where is he? Well, it, you knew he wasn't here before you started shooting. That, although that might be the guy that was bad mouthing Calm at the start. I don't know. Seems like the other guys wouldn't be saying something like that. You guys gonna help me buy my new horse? No, no, no. I wanted to loot. I wanted to loot. Uh, all right. Well, I guess while I'm here, I'll see if I can cook. Because I do... I did kill some animals, and I'm pretty sure I've got raw meat that needs to be cooked. So we'll cook that to make room for any more. I am going to kill at least two more animals for that challenge. And it would be nice to be able to have room for their meat as opposed to perhaps wasting it. And let me tell you, the, <laughs> that pork, it's, it's always interesting for me when I do this, when I'm cooking food. I'm always doing it when I'm hungry, when I personally am hungry. So it looks, makes me think that would be really good right now. Thinking of pork chops and mashed potatoes. Okay. Plain prime beef. What did I shoot? I think that came from a, a bison, but I shot that some time ago. Did I not ever cook it? I guess I didn't. I think that that might be the bison I shot with Charles, which would be two episodes ago, I believe. I don't think I've shot another bison, or in this time period, buffalo. Oh, I see some salted meat there to my left. And uh, maybe a bread chunk and coffee. I'll pick that up here when I'm done cooking. I like that cooking also gives you 
dead eye experience. It's interesting. So camp chores and cooking gives you dead eye. This will be the snake, the plain sting, stringy meat would be the snake I shot. I mentioned maybe an episode or so ago that it's been a while since I've seen a turkey and I don't know what, what the deal is with that. I seem to remember seeing quite a few of them, especially right around the camp area. But it's been a little while. Quite some time since I've seen one. I don't know uh, if if when you shoot, since I've shot, I think maybe three or four of them in that area, if that depletes them, and that's sort of realistic. All right, that's all. Rifle, pistol. Yeah, we'll take some more split points since we just used several. I'm debating whether or not I like that bandolier on Arthur, but I think if I remember, it gives some kind of bonus. So I'd, I sort of want to take it off, but I don't because I would lose the bonus. Leave. Now let's finish looting. And don't. There we go. E is the looting is the same action as setting by the campfire, unfortunately, and they're so close together. Got to be careful with that. I see that little box on the ground. I'm gonna look at that in just a moment. Platinum band, yes. Add this to my horse. Inspect metal box. Add this to what I'm gonna use to buy a horse. Opened health cure. That's the only thing. Gun oil. Uh, let's clean a weapon to be able to use that gun oil. We'll clean this one. And then we'll pick up the gun oil. So it's a win win. There we go. I don't think I want the cocaine gun. Is there anything else there? Nope. That box. Ammo box. Regular pistol. Car yeah, I'll take those. And the Valerian root. That is also, uh, I don't know what it updates, but it I need to take that right now. Why do I have two of those? Is my game bugged and I'm getting two of everything? That's Deadeye to level six. And the next one. I think, you know, I got two of that elixir that, earlier. And I think my game is bugged. I'm getting two of everything. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate. But I don't know what to do about it. If that's the case... I'd rather not have that artificial boost, but I have no idea how to stop that other than un maybe, I don't know. Can you, with Rockstar, can you verify your game files? I know I can do it on Steam. I don't know if I can do it on Rock, uh, oh yes, yeah, cigarettes. I need to dump some of those. Where are they? I think they're in the food. Yeah, let's dump all of those. And all the premium. I just want the card from it. The cigarette card with the uh, Vistas of America. I was gonna <laughs> almost said San Francisco. Okay, that's see, I I don't think that's Dennis. Because Dennis has two ends. And since this is supposed to be simulating, I think, Louisiana. I 
I mean, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. I think that might be pronounced, I think it's French, and it's not Dennis. I'm not exactly sure how. That's south, isn't it? I think that's down south. And I think that's supposed to be, just based on the name, I think it's supposed to be French. What is that over there? Oh, that's just an outcropping. And uh, for me, when I think of a, a big town in the south that's supposed to be have a French air about it, I think of uh, New Orleans. If I said St. Louis, I don't know why I said St. Louis. <laughs> I'm not sure I did now. Okay, salted meat, I cannot take any. What about that? Isn't that a... What are you doing, Arthur? What is that? Oh, it's not glowing. I can't take it. I can only take the coffee. I guess that... It... Oh, there it is, a bread chunk. Now it's growing. Glowing. All right. I think that's good enough here. I, I think that's the only thing that's really going to net me money. Oh, wait a minute. What is this over here? Did I not look in this hair pomade? Something was glowing over here, wasn't it? Maybe not. Maybe it was just my imagination. Okay. That's everybody looted. And there's my horse. All right, I'm gonna go go back to camp. Do this mission with John. <clears throat> then I'll worry about the hey, challenge yeah, at a later time. I don't know how long this mission is gonna take, and I don't. I'll make sure I get it all in one session. What do we got going on here? Is that just a wagon blocked by another? There's a guy in front of the wagon, but I don't know if he's blocking it. They seem to be going in the same direction. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Sit down and shut your mouth. For some reason, they're not moving. I think that's another prisoner wagon. Keep clear of the wagon, sir. I think sons of bitches. Quiet. I think one of the lawmen got in front of the wagon and was blocking it. Just shut up back there. Because now he's riding behind him. And that causes yeah. the wagon to stop. I do need two more. Uh, there was one, three right there. And that's, well, let's carry on. If I see one heading back, I'll shoot him, but I'm not going to spend time m moving after them. I think that's the one I need right there. Yeah, no, that's a two-star. Are there bats in this game? I just heard something squeaking. There he is. All right. Since it's right there, let's see if I can get him. Okay. Scent is good. Call. There we go. All right. Only one more. I think. I mean, if it registered. Yeah, only one more. I'm trying to figure out what that is this deer's laying on, and I'm stepping on Just here. Hold on, there, girl. It looks like some sort of debris, like from a structure. I don't know what it is. 
I guess it's just the way the plant has been over there. Gives it an odd looking shape. Okay, John, hang on, we're on our way. That deer just jumped out in front of me. I couldn't pass him over. Yep. Not literally, figuratively. Now keep your rifle out just in case we see another here. Wait, I. This is where I need to be. I notice I've been saying that I'm going to eventually rob a train. And then during this cutscene for this mission, I didn't see Bill standing there. And he's not challenging me. Interesting. Maybe my game is bugged. But uh, during the cutscene for this mission, Arthur did mention how difficult it is to rob a train. And it looks like the way we're going to do it is... Is put this, uh, if my understanding is correct, put, oh, well, everything's still good. Put the oil wagon on the tracks and block the train so that it stops. And I don't know if that's what I'll need to do. You know, the first train we robbed during the mission, we, we ran, we were trying to dynamite the tracks. Of course, that didn't work out. So we had to run and jump on the train. I assume you know you're covered in blood. No, I didn't, actually. Thanks for telling me. But I have skinned several animals, so yeah, makes sense. Now, let's see if any of these, since they're good pelts, yeah, crafting. Oh, he can use the snake. There you go, for crafting. You can donate. Actually, I'm going to hold on to that because I'm trying to make some money myself. Funds, funds, funds. Crafting, and that is the boar pelt. This is a decent oh, pelt. So. And crafting for deer, crafting for deer, crafting for deer. All right, so he could use all of that. Everything else is food, which he's good to go on food. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. All right, John, where are you, buddy? Oh, you know I want to do chores, but I'm gonna go do this mission. Oh, he's oh, there he is. John. How are we going to do this? Get on. Pouring Good. forth oil. Yep. Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Yes, Charles. Meet us at the wagon when you can. I think that's a sure. good choice. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Hmm. Then you'll be a genius. See the way that <laughs> bandolier kind of sets off of his frame? I've also noticed, I don't know if this is going to show up in the video, but every time there's a cutscene, I see some flickering colors. They're just to the left of Arthur's head. I'm not sure what that's about. I hope it doesn't show up in the video, but it's only in the cutscene, so I'm guessing it's, it's some kind of uh, video glitch related to the cutscenes. Arthur. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm already doing something. Hello. So does he has been owed you money. Here it is. Thank you. you okay there, Arthur? And your husband, is he well? He's dead. A combination of beatings and sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. <laughs> That's the wife of the farmer. That we went and beat up. And he didn't have the money. And Arthur said, we'll sell your house or your wife or your family. And he said, uh, the house already, we already owe more than it's worth. So he's dead now, apparently. He died, she said. But at least Strauss got paid, I suppose. Didn't mean for the fellow to die. He was sick, Mr. Morgan. Not our fault. Uh, I don't know. I felt really bad about that. I personally did not like that. Or the beating, the, I think he's a Polish fellow that lives in a house across the canyon there, or across the river. I didn't, I didn't like that either. Well, am I just supposed to wait? Is John going to contact me? Because I don't see any, anything on the, yeah, what does this say? I think he's, 
maybe he'll contact me because I don't see any mission icon. And all the food is up, so I guess I'll talk to Dutch now then. Ah, I can do chores. That's what I'm going to do, do chores. It just seems like when you do Dutch missions, you're forced into going on a ride with him and doing something. And I've been trying to avoid that. I also feel like he's the catalyst for moving things forward because he's the leader of the group. I saw mice on them earlier. Yep, mice. So I think his his decisions, his missions probably advance the storyline more than anything else. Just a guess on my part. So I'm just trying to do everybody else but him just in case we do something. He has us go do something like rob another train or some such and we – we wind up having to move again. I kind of like this area. And I want to see about fishing. Hello. And we're right next to a river. I'm guessing at some point I'll be able to fish. I think... Oh, sorry. Don't jump up there. I think it will probably unlock as something I can buy at the, at the general store, maybe. Because it wouldn't be considered a weapon, so it wouldn't be the gun shop. Still breathing, so it must be good. Glad to hear it. Is Tilly in John's tent? Oh, no. Did she just come out of there? or No, maybe she was just walking by. Uh, where am I going? That's not... <laughs> I, uh, that's not corn. Hello, Brownie. It's interesting to me that I always put the hay over here, but my horse doesn't have access to it. My horse is always tied up to hitching posts. Of course, I suppose I feed my horse separately. And I've never actually seen any of the horses eating the hay, to be honest. I don't ever once recall seeing a horse eating hay. So I don't think they actually do. But I'm still going to do the chores to get my honor points. It's still early. It's only 7. Food is good for the camp. Look at our dead eye to 7. I don't know who he's talking to. He says, I hear you've been getting into trouble again. Oh, it's Hosea talking to Swanson. They're just a little too far away for me to hear clearly. Oh, Sadie. Back sitting by herself, I guess. Let's see what she has to say as soon as I'm done chopping this wood. I think this is the last one. Yeah. How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Well, Just let me know if there's anything I can do. I thought she was done with that. What does Grimshaw want? So, Mr. Morgan. Whatever did happen with that Mary Gillis? Uh, it all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Mm, that's for the best. <laughs> sure, of course. I never did like her very much. So, of all the people I've had interactions with about Mary, the only one that said they like him, I think, was the Abigail. Everybody else said stay away from her. Is that the last of the chores?
Nope. Arthur. Yes. No more desperate, Strauss. It's in a debtor's nature. Less desperate then. Yeah. I suppose he's the equivalent of a loan shark. So the people that's going to borrow money from him are, are very desperate because I'm sure... I, I don't think it's ever been mentioned, but typically the difference between a normal, legitimate loaner, if you will, is the interest rates. So I imagine he's charging exorbitant interest, interest rates. Them horses are hungry. Yeah, you would think so, but they never eat the hay, Jack. They're always eating grass. Hey there, Jack. Hello. You okay? I'm bored. <laughs> I understand that. No other kids. He has zero interaction with children. I can't imagine. I mean, I can't imagine, but... Taking good care of that horse. Yeah. It's got to be tough on him not to have any... He's not He's not getting any social skills. He's not learning how to share with others and so forth and so on. I can't imagine what he's going to be like when he grows up. Assuming he grows up. All he's going to... His Look at his role models. Crooks, murderers, prostitutes. Arthur. Hello, Abigail. Gunslingers. All right, that's all the chores. Now I'm going to go talk to Dutch. Here we are. Another day older. And definitely not wiser. Hmm. I hope it's not going to be a... All right, time to pack up and move along. Arthur. Yes, Dutch. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. <laughs> Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Does that Dutch, the military? Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. <laughs> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. Hmm. They nearly lynched me. Strawberry? They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. What? <laughs> what? The fool brought this on himself. <laughs> you know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Of course I'll take him to Valentine. Come on, son. I don't know where Strawberry is. I'll get to it, Dutch. Although, can't drop everything. there's a mission now to get uh, get him out of jail, right? So there should be, it should be on the map. Strawberry? Well, it's not. So <laughs> there went that idea. All right, we're going into Valentine. Ride to Valentine. Slow down now. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him <clears throat> what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. 
Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike Anew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. Mm -hmm. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Now, I was I was just listening to what they were saying. He said Strawberry is a dry town. I can't... I don't think I've ever heard of a town in the Old West being dry. Prohibition wasn't a thing yet. So that was that's interesting. Why would Strawberry be a dry town? Yep. Does that mean they don't have a saloon or a bar? Mister. Hey, mister. It'll be interesting to see once I get there, find out where it is. I think Lenny's done talking. Yeah, I, I don't have any prompts. The old war veteran's not around either. This place is always so muddy, and I, I don't think it rains enough for it to be this muddy. Why is it always so muddy here? That's just the mystery of the game, I suppose. But it is always very muddy. I still want to say I'd like to be able to take a job there, help them building that. Like go out and have to go out and get lumber, <laughs> chop the trees, you know, the whole nine yards. All right, we're going to the bar. Come on, Lenny. Oh my goodness. Two. Right off of? Of course, just Arthur a drink. Arthur is dirty. John. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Have one for yourself. Thank you. He's what? I wish they would have finished <laughs> that sentence. Mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. Try not to get in any trouble. Good charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Hmm. 
You can't Just reason with a drunk, though. Be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. I thought they were just supposed to have one drink. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Lenny wandered off. Hey, Lenny! Am I supposed to find Lenny? Can't find my friend. You know where he went? Wouldn't know. Lenny? Is he... He's not up here. It's a red light. Does this mean where the prostitutes work? Lenny, where are you? Red light's what that means, right? What are you doing, kid? Oh, there he Hello, is. Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so dirty. <laughs> Man, why ain't you never married? No one will have me. No one will have me. That's the thing, you see. Cause it... Lenny? <laughs> he's gone again. Lenny! Get away from me! Now. There he is. Lenny, where are you at? <laughs> Well, looks like we're gonna get into a fight after all. Well, that's to be expected since the the characters are drunk. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? Here we go. I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, Mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, Mister. The second fight here is not gonna. <laughs> I was just going to say, this is not going to end well if we have a second fight in here. Oh. I guess we're full. I'm guessing this is... Yeah, this is Arthur. <laughs> High-kicking cowboys. Sounds like something that would be in a Mel Brooks movie. Yeah, I know you kids don't know who Mel Brooks is. <laughs> Go find out. It'll be well worth your time. Just don't be... Too politically correct. Lenny. Why does everybody look like Lenny? Lenny, my boy. Lenny? <laughs> Maybe you should switch to water, my friend. <laughs> oh, I had another sneeze. L even look, even Lenny spelled wrong. Gret. <laughs> Damn it, Lenny! Stop slumping off on me. How many of you had, pal? I don't know, but Lenny was not wearing those type of clothes. He was wearing a suit. Like that, kind of like that. No, no, that's not it. Lenny? Lenny? Oh! <laughs> now the question is, was that really Lenny or no? You can't. I can't tell by the clothes because there he is. No, that's not his clothes. Because that dude didn't have any on. He had a gray, kind of a gray jacket on. Let's go outside. Yep. Did Arthur just fall down? I think I fell. Obviously I did, because now I'm on the bottom floor. Did I go in here? All right, Lenny, where are you? I don't know if that was Lenny up there or not, because... Lenny! Is there rooms on this side, too? Didn't I go here already? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, yeah, I think I did go here already. 
All right, so I've done that bottom room and this bottom room. Have I done, is there more than one top room? I think I just went in this room, right? Yeah, because I went out that door, I think, and fell. Is this leading? No, that's a different kind of clothing. Bernie! I'm Clyde. Yeah, okay. You got the wrong fella. I'm trying. I know he's not wearing... There he is. Arthur, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop running away. Oh. Slap. <laughs> All right, I guess we're in a slap fight. You, you're, you're a good friend to me, Arthur. Shut up. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again? No. Oh, it's the same guy, but he's not wearing a hat. A green hat. Dunk. No, I don't want to drown him. I mean, I don't want to kill him, right? <laughs> They're in the pig pit. That is really... For someone who lives by the gun, to be that drunk in public like that is just really stupid, in my opinion. Well, it's stupid to be drunk anyway, but especially someone who relies on their senses and their quick wit. <laughs> Being able to draw a weapon is stupid to get drunk. Oh, am I just going to... <laughs> Am I going to successfully run away as drunk as Arthur is? Or did they get me? Where am I? Laying on the ground, not in the jail cell at least. And it's raining. Maybe it'll clean him up a little bit. <laughs> Wake up, buddy. Come on. Oh, you moron, moron. Mm. Oh, you moron. Not again. Not again. <laughs> oh, he's got no stamina. And he's definitely sick. A quiet time. Yeah, it was quiet, all right. Try to make amends with an old rival. Who, who was, who would that have been? Your core's not drained while resting. Let's see how this works. Oh, you take a knee. And we refill slowly if they're very low. I can just eat something though, right? Wait a minute, that's the craft. I can craft while I'm resting? Without a fire? Okay, food requires a campfire. But I can do other things. It doesn't require fire. All right, well, that's good to know. Where am I? Oh, that's Flat Neck Station. Right? Yeah. All right, the camp's just right there. And I have no no horse in sight. Not again. Well, is there anything to pick up while I'm standing here? Oh, a snake. Oh, I don't have my bow. I don't have any All I have are my sidearms. Where is it? It's going away. I'm not going to try to kill it. What is that? March 1878, Ellie. 
an owl, red, lily, lily, an owl, red, always in my heart, I think is what that's supposed to say, but I can't really see a Y there. It's M something. Hang on. Yeah, M March 1878, Lily, not Ellie, Lily, Al Alfred. Oh, Alfred, Lily and Alfred. Always in my heart. Now, wait a minute. Hang on. Wasn't the kid skipping rocks down at the lake saying, Lily, Lily, you don't know how good I am? Wasn't that what he's saying, Lily? Lily? Is this, is this them? Well, he would have put it. Typically, when people write things down, they write their name first. If they're writing, so example, here to here, this says Lily and Alfred. So I think this was probably written by Lily. But I don't know that kid's name. Remember Arthur told him to go for it? That snake is just not moving away, is it? All right, anyway, I need to get back to camp, I suppose. Oh, wait, here's some more. That's something that I would have never seen in a million years if I hadn't have been just brought here by the game naturally. Who's going to go around looking at every tree looking for carvings? I mean, I'm sure there are people that do it, you know, people who like filling out information about games, but... I don't think I would go around looking at every tree looking for car. Although now I've got my, <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. What is that? A, is that a cow? Oh, it's an ox. It's hard to tell with his head down. And I was going to eat something. Damn folk won't leave me the hell alone. Ain't nobody messing with you, buddy. All right, I guess I got to run back to camp. I don't even see the my horse. I see the horse icon, but I don't think it's at camp. No, it's still in, in uh, Valentine, so it's. I don't have any long weapons at all. Only handguns. See, that tree looks different from all the rest of it. Now I want to go look at that tree. <laughs> I'm not going to do this all the time, I promise. I just want to take a gander at this tree. Yeah, I guess there's nothing special about it. Oh, I should have used Deadeye when I was looking at that other tree and see if it showed up as being a, you know, a point of interest or some such like that. Maybe if I'm ever in that area again. Well, I know I'll, I'll pass by there again in the future. If I remember, which is doubtful, I'll stop and see if there actually is. Lenny's pulling guard. They didn't get him either. Arthur. Good. You're back in one piece. Yeah. Keep your eyes open for any trouble. Of course. Oh, I thought we could talk about what happened, but apparently not since well, he's on guard. You don't need me distracting you. All right, Arthur. I guess, I, I guess Lenny got away also. It's a long way. You know what? That's a very long way for Arthur to run as drunk as he was from here all the way to down here. What? I mean, he passed camp. Why didn't he just stop at camp? The things drunk people do. Are we talking about? Damn you! Hello. Damn all you! Hello, Mary Beth. So smart. Hey, Uncle. You 
little trollop. Trollops! They're just so unkind. Miss O'Shea. All okay, Miss Greenshaw? I was thinking about that. To see another day. It was it was clear to me Karen didn't have a clue what Molly was talking about. Miss Jones. But I was thinking about that. Oh, well. You remember when we rode into Valentine with Uncle and the three girls? I think it was Mary Beth or Tilly. I don't remember. One of them I think said, "Should we have invited Miss O'Shea or Molly?" And I think it was Karen that said, oh, no, she's too high and mighty now to, to associate with us. Was that Karen that said that? I, do, I remember one of the girls said it, and I know it wasn't Mary Beth because she's the one that suggested. So I think it may have been Karen. I don't think it was Tilly. Well, it may have been Tilly, but Tilly don't seem like the type, does she? Where Karen is the one that's kind of grating. That might have been what that was all about. Somehow or another she heard Although I, I honestly don't know if that was Karen or Tilly. It just didn't seem like something Tilly would say. And now I've got to... Well, who is A? I was going to say i got to go get my horse. Abigail? What does Abigail want? Ah, Mr. Morgan. Yes? You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? <laughs> We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. What is she doing? She's making... People are getting hungry, Pearson. I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Uh. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. Hmm. I know you do. The game grabbed my attention and physically turned Arthur around to face him. I didn't do that. I think I was going to say she's making a poultice. I mean, a, a tonic. <laughs> you know, mixing things together. I wonder if it'll tell me what she's doing. There she is. Hello? I guess not. And do I have... I don't think I have anything to give to Pearson. I still got to get those... You. I can't talk to him. There we go. Morning, dear. Is it Morning. Okay. What do you want, want, Abigail? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Okay. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. A fisher of Very men. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? <laughs> because he likes you and, well... You know his father's useless. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Thank you. That's interesting that I was just mentioning earlier that Jack's got nobody to play with, nothing to do, you know, no one his age to do anything with, and so he doesn't do anything but wander around the camp by himself. And lo and behold, the very next mission, they're asking me to go do something with Jack. I remember saying earlier that in a previous episode, I want to see Pearson has just cut up meat. I want to see how he makes his stew, if it actually shows that. Because earlier I saw carrots and potatoes. Now he's putting the meat in there. So he cuts up the meat. I've already seen him cut up potatoes and carrots. And there's a potato on his cutting board. If I remember, carrots are in the bag on the ground. Yeah. And uh, 
carrots are in the bag on the table. So he physically cuts up the meat, cuts up the carrots, and cuts up the uh, potatoes. Hurry up, Mr. Pearson. I'm starving. <laughs> Give me a chance, will you? See, this kind of stuff fascinates me, that the things that you really, that the developers, they put in a game and hardly anybody ever notices. See, there's, he, he's physically doing all the steps to make a stew. And that's not necessary for the gameplay, but it's just someone who decided to make it. You know what I mean? Take the time to, to code all this. This kind of stuff fascinates me. And I like it. I like it in games. I like looking at things like that, that that are not normally highlighted or shown or something you would normally look at. I got to find out what happens. So so for now, I've seen him cutting the meat, cutting the carrots, and cutting the potatoes. I, I need to catch him at the very beginning and see what happens before he cuts the meat. Or if he physically... If there's an animal that you see right now, there's no animals anywhere. I remember earlier there was a rabbit laying on the table in one of the earlier episodes. All right, but anyway, I'm going to go talk to Jack in the next session because it's going to be, I'm sure, whatever the mission is, it'll be longer than I've got because my time is up already. So we'll see what happens on uh, when Jack finally gets to leave the camp, I'm supposing, gets to do something Susan? in the next session. Ciao.